Hey! And if she succeeds, you'll spend the rest of your time here cleaning out garbage bins with very tiny brushes. We know how The Hippodrome Show, Wednesday the 8th. The Hippodrome Show, the hip old drone show. It's different. Yes, sir. How can I have lots of hot water without falling foul of big bills? I'll tell you how. You install an economy seven cylinder. What I'd say... You get nighttime electricity and much less than half price for a tank full of really economical hot water. Well, I was especially insulated to keep the water hot till you need it. What if I'm short of cash, then? I'm glad you asked me that. No problem. We're offering interest-free credits. I couldn't have put it better myself. East Midlands Electricity, the team you can trust. Dentists warn that plaque is a major cause of tartar and gum disease. Plaque builds up on your teeth every day. And no matter how hard you brush, you don't get enough off. Especially in hard to reach places. Rinse with plaque before brushing and you'll shift more plaque than brushing alone. Plaques shift more plaque than brushing alone. On with a quick fire section, fingers on the buzzers. Who was Britain's last coalition prime minister? Contestant number two. Winston Churchill. Correct. Gozzers, pinkies and... Contestant number two. Cuts of fishing bait. Uh, correct. Who discovered... Number two again. Louis Pasteur. Uh, correct. Where might... In your ear. Correct. What? Seven. Huh? Runner beans? What? H2O. Here. I bet he drinks Starling Black Label. Your best bet for a fuller flavour. Carling Black Label. For the cat who will always be a kitten cat, you improved kitty cat. With extra fish and extra meat, there are best recipes yet. Nine improved kitty cats for your kitten cat. In the high-flying Daily Express this week, the exclusive Air Miles giveaway goes on. Over the next few days, another million Air Miles must be won. A thousand Air Miles each for a thousand Daily Express readers. That's three jumbo jets full of winners. You could be on your way to your dream destination, because the more Air Miles you collect, the further you can go. You too could be Air Miles better off when you clip the free tokens, only in the Daily Express. So pick up the Express tomorrow, and who knows where you'll touch down. Well, let's see now. Uh, to adults, the children's detention. Prudential pensioner. Will your future have the clout of a prudential pension? Prudential. We explain and arrange more personal pensions than anybody else. You're looking at a car with an engine so advanced that it cleans itself while you drive. With better fuel consumption and cleaner exhaust emissions, even in the toughest driving conditions. But perhaps the most remarkable thing about this car is that it's the one you already own. All we've improved is our petrol. Just one of Central's sensational series of suspense films. Come on, late night Tuesdays on Central, let's fret together. And we'll be fretting together with three couples whose holiday becomes a nightmare in Death Cruise tomorrow night at 1 a.m. The Labour Party has accused British Rail of putting passenger comfort before safety following another fatal rail accident, this time in Glasgow. Two passengers died in a head-on crash between commuter trains just two days after the Purley crash in South London. British Rail has again admitted it was their mistake, and the chairman, Sir Robert Reid, urged staff to guard against even the smallest lapse, which could result in another disaster. 
The Transport Secretary, Mr Channon, urged BR to improve their signalling following a study of continental systems. Efforts to clear the short stretch of single track continue through the night. British Rail say there are three possible reasons for the collision near Belgrove Station in Glasgow. Human error, signal failure or a mechanical fault in one of the two trains. Earlier the signal system was checked by engineers as well as the points. Rescue services had to treat passengers as they lay injured in the wrecked carriages. This eight-year-old man lay trapped for four hours before being freed. All of a sudden there was an almighty bang and I was... Um Actually, I think I demolished the side of the seat that caught me so fast, you know. And Labour's transport spokesman John Prescott has said that the crash indicates that insufficient resources are being used to prevent such accidents. The Prince of Wales has tonight said Europe's decision to stop the use of ozone-destroying chemicals by the year 2000 is 10 years too late. Addressing the International Conference on Ozone Protection, the Prince delivered his strongest criticism yet on the damage to the world's environment. The seas are fast becoming sewers. We make poisons so powerful we don't know where to put them. The rainforests are being turned into deserts. If we can stop the sky turning into a microwave oven, we will still face the prospect of living in a garbage dump. In America, President Bush has strongly attacked critics of Mr. John Tower, the man he wants as Defense Secretary. The Senate will vote on Mr. Tower's nomination later this week. Their debate has centred on reports of Mr. Tower's alleged drinking and womanising. I want to get it off my chest. I'm getting sick and tired of some of the rumours and the instant innuendos that are used against this decent man. That's the news for now. I'll be back with more later. Do join me then. On Central, our screen on Monday presentation, and one war veteran finds the fighting is far from over. George Kennedy stars in Search and Destroy. United States Military Assistance Command, Vietnam, Four Corps, C Sector. Action Survey Report, 10 September 1968. Location, Hamlet 326. Landing zone Victor. Time 0200. Friendly strength. Two squads led by Special Group Beta. Beta is five man recon combat team. Elite grade, star rating. Beta personnel as follows Captain R.J. Kennington. Staff Sergeant Buddy Grant. Sergeant Roosevelt Washington. Corporal William Tyzak. Corporal Kyle Moore. Accompanying Arvin Political Liaison, Major Nugent Two. Group history, three years. Unit mission, pacification. Enemy strength, unknown. Type of contact, enemy ambush.